After party. Who? Me? After party. Why? You? After party. After party. Jiggy, 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 jiggy. Pick up the pieces. Uh, uh. Pick up the pieces. Uh, uh. I'm gonna come check it. <laughs> <laughs> Tell us if y'all know where that's from. <laughs> Drop down in the comments. All right, let's get into it. We keep it real. What's up, Koya fam? Welcome back to another video of Courtney and Eddie. I'm Eddie, aka E Dub. This is my lovely wife. Courtney, also known as Coco. This right here is Courtney and Eddie. This channel is all about relationship. It's all about reviews. It's all about entertainment. And tonight we're gonna be talking about Married at First Sight After Party. And yes, we're well, yeah, we're not late this time, right? It's the day after. The day after. Um, so if you're brand new to this channel, you haven't subscribed yet, go ahead and hit that subscribe button down below. And if you're watching us on any other social media, comment, um, share, like, and all that good stuff. Um, don't forget that too, that we do have a Patreon. Make sure that you sign up for our Patreon. That's right. Be on our Patreon. All right. For the five. All right. All right. So on this episode of After Party, you had um Miguel. Chad, we was the one way we was there, honey. Got to call out the SWAT team. <laughs> Uh, she got Miguel tied up to the bed like a what's the name of that movie? The Burning Bed. No. Uh God. Thin line between love and hate. She she he was an author and she hit the his foot with the hammer. Oh, you be giving that people in the comments. Yeah, I know what I'm what talking, talking about. about. I'm gonna make a little series of Y'all know what movie I'm talking about. Yeah. <laughs> you remember that movie? God. It was a Stephen uh Stephen King movie. It was scary. It was scary. But she trapped him in the bed because uh, he was a favorite author. And he had an accident. She drove him to the house and had him tied up to the bed. Mm -hmm. and he was trying to escape. And she tied him up to the bed again. So you try to escape. So man, this time I'm going to make sure you don't escape. And she got the sledgehammer and hit his foot and broke her foot. Ooh, mm -mm, yeah. Yeah, mm -mm. yeah, that's, that's mm -mm. what Linda was doing to Miguel. That's why he ain't been on the after party. <laughs> <laughs> he done lost the weight, too. So you also have Kristen on there. Then you have a podcaster named Sarah. All right, so let's get into it. So they first start up where they show Clips of Miguel. Misery. That's the name of the movie. Misery. You oh, remember Misery? Mm -mm. Yeah, misery. I mean, I know I know of it. Yeah. I never watched it. Um, so they had Clips of Miguel uh, basically saying that, you know, as far as his love forever, he can't commit to forever and everything. Miguel said forever, that. Ever? Ever, ever, ever? ever? Miguel said that, you know, sometimes he get in his own head and he kind of overthinks the situation or whatever. So and Miguel seems like, you know, me and him could be related because sometimes I can get in my own head and talk myself out of some Ooh, things. Yes, you do, baby. Over I'll be there, having them. Over there, over there, over there. I, I'll be all over the place. But I had like four or five ideas going at one time and I'd be thinking about the future and what if, I, if, what if I make a right turn and my future's going to be different? If I make a left turn here, my future's going to go down a different path. So, yeah. That's, that's him. I mean, honey, he not just I don't, left I don't, right. I don't, I don't know what you call that, but yeah. Left, right, an overthinker. Over, um, over, over, yeah. Anal over. I overanalyze things. So, yeah. But anyway, um, Keisha said, Keisha said that sometimes, but it's, it was a phrase that she said, and I've heard it before, that, you know, your energy goes where your mind goes or something like that. So, oh, I think she said, 
your energy flows where your mind goes. Okay. Your that's energy flows, flows where, where your, your mind, mind goes. goes. So yeah. yeah. So that's basically what she was just trying to tell Miguel that you know you kind of gotta watch your thoughts and stuff because you know you thinking all in a sense dark. You know I don't know where it's gonna go and stuff like that or whatever. And he said one, you know he's been let down a lot. He's been in relationships longer than he should have. So I guess he's just trying to you know prepare himself for something that could happen. Sometimes that's what I do. You prepare yourself for failure. Okay, you know it's going to happen bad, so you're trying to get yourself psyched up for that bad thing to happen. And when you continue to psych yourself up, that bad thing will happen. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Well, I don't agree with me. No, I want to think the positive. About no, you know, that's one thing I can say about you. You always look at the positive. Yeah, I give you that. You really do. Me, I look at what's real. I'm a realist. You know what I'm saying? Everything's not going to go you know, uh, the, you know, the positive way. So things turn to the left and goes and go bad. So I always keep that option open when I think about things. Um, so they showed clips of uh, Miguel talking with Linda Friend, and he <clears> said <throat> that every time it seems as though that Linda is having an outburst, he asks her, you know, like where is this coming from, and stuff. Um, because um because he was asking her you know like where did this come from because that's the stuff that he didn't again had to deal with something in his past of women just having outbursts and doing stuff that linda do honey i know, I know there's not more lindy's out there it can't be mm-hmm. that crazy they oh, probably they attracted did. they yeah. probably uh, he attracted, attracted yeah he attracted that type of woman yeah so yeah so um and you know he don't like all that outburst and all that stuff like that but the friend confirmed that's how she is yeah, you got some women they will embarrass you in a restaurant they man. don't care they don't care man Ooh, you can be not. in church man pastor give them a good sermon she will walk in and embarrass you and you don't want to go back to the church no more you want to move out the whole city and state you speaking from experience <laughs> I, I was going there with it. <laughs> I have, I have no, I mean, I've know of people that's been like that, but I've never done. I'm not that, I'm not that one that's gonna bash your window and slash your ties. Cause you know what? After said and done, it was, most of the time folks end up getting back together, and now we gotta right, pay for that right, stuff. So right. I don't make rational. Never have made rational move. Not finna throw your clothes out and burn it and set it on fire to make some See, kind of statement. That's the problem. That's Hollywood and the music industry. That's why women do that. What's the name of the song? I bash out your window of your car. Mm-hmm. That I song. Then uh Stella, which one? Uh, Waiting to Excel when yeah. she burned the clothes and the car up. See all that, man. They rich. They got money. They can replace that stuff. You ain't rich. Man, you gotta go rent a cylinder get some new car. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I, I've always been the person who's gonna think about the long, long thing in return and not just be angry in that moment, you know um so let's see so kristen said that she knew that something about Lin- lindy um oh yeah that she knows something about lindy you know she kind of you know peep some things about lindy but one thing she know that you don't do with lindy is what mess with her food mess with a food child she greedy man mess greedy lindy and, and what, what miguel said sometimes y'all don't see off camera when she on camera by herself man i'm kind of off camera I be feeding her food under the table like she's some kind of wild animal. <laughs> he didn't say the wild animal. I know. Or, like, or I'm just, yeah. Because that's uh, what it sounds like. Yeah, like some kind of wild, crazy animal. You got to uh, no, keep her at peace by feeding her, man. <laughs> <laughs> no, sorry. Don't do that. Don't do that. That's so, that's so creepy. Now man. somebody else said that they that got creepy. scared too when I did it. Y'all, y'all, y'all. Okay, last night when she did it, I saw the crazy in her eyes, man. It creeped me out for real, for real, I'm man. Gonna put the, I'm gonna put the full video because yeah. I mean, I I put our uh, uncut videos over there in Patreon. You know, the ones that you know the unedited part, and I put it over there, and I meant to put the unedited because of what you said afterwards. Don't tell the people see, but what you said afterwards, you know, it'll be over there. Yeah. So yeah. But and yeah. remember, if you join Patreon, you don't have to wait till the first of the month anymore. You join the day, then your next um, payment the comes day, out. Yeah, the day you join. The next month. Yeah, all right. On that day. Yeah, but yeah, uh, Linda, they got to feed her something like she's kind of, some kind of wild creature, like she's a bear or something. Oh, you know how sometimes bear, they don't get the food, they get angry and go on a rampage. Ah, and they yeah, tell stuff. Yeah. 
Yeah, I'm about to feed her a lot of food for one of you here so she can hibernate. <laughs> <laughs> so the next clip they're showing of Kristen talking to her sister-in-law and, you know, uh, they were talking about, too, you know, as far as having a child and stuff, you know, how it would be with Mitch in the diapers. But... Oh, my goodness. Kristen says she actually, um, I think, even yeah. asked Mitch about her and Kotex, you know, when she had... Kotex? That's what it's called. Menstrual cycle. That's Pads. Right. That's the name, Cortex, right? That's a brand. Cortex, yeah, yeah. That's a brand, but I'm just saying. I didn't want to just say call them pads, but most of the time when people say Cortex, I ain't gonna you know lie. what I mean. You know, back in the day, you know, when I had little brothers and sisters. I used to call them Pampers. I never call them diapers. I used to call them by the name brand. Okay. Pampers, yeah. yeah. Um. So, so he asked about that and stuff because she was like, surely he that he ain't gonna want me to sit up here. He, he did. He said he don't mind her doing it, but he want her to be mindful of the environment. And what is she supposed to use? And something about a menstrual cup or something. What is that? I know you lying. I know she ain't got to get no cup and put up under there. Like, how's she going to walk around with that? Or is it just, child, please. That's his name. All the way around, child. You, he do it then. He walk around. Well, we, don't, we don't have that problem. Well, he acting like a girl. Maybe he do something. <laughs> a girl peeing missing. Um, yeah, I'll leave Mitch alone. So anyway, so they show also show clips of Mitch talking to sister. his sis, his sister in law because they are married. Um, which is Kristen's sister about the makeup and everything. Kristen said her sister said that Mitch talked about himself the whole time. He's a narcissist. That's what she picks up from. Him. In which I can kind of see that. Yeah. Yeah, but Mitch, you never go to a family member to talk about your wife. You yeah. know, especially the way she looks, man. You know, and I'm trying to, I don't know. Everybody has their preference, man. But, you know, Kristen, she's not a bad looking woman. She don't even wear that much makeup right. out from what I see. You know, um, like, this, like the latest Sarah that was on there, she said, it's a way that you can say that. Like when you're in bed, say, baby, oh, wow, you are gorgeous with no makeup it's the stuff that we as women pick up on that our men say and we'll make it happen or oh, mitch what you do when she's not at home go to a makeup drawer throw all of that and hide it she ain't gonna put no makeup on because she can't find it no mitch don't want them kind of problems <laughs> <laughs> kristen was setting all the blaze we were just talking about that kristen you see how she dr pepper i respect you and everything but listen don't come over here a little, little bit with all of that mess because i'm not gonna stay in no marriage what a man dogging me out. So don't tell me to go back home and deal with it. You go back home and deal with that man that you ain't staying with. That's how Christian is. Yeah, but Mitch, if you want your street cred, that's what you do. Take a take up all her makeup, throw it out or hide it so she won't have it. And if you can survive that, man, you will have street cred for the rest of your life. And life will be how long? Not that long. <laughs> it won't be that long, but you have it. Though. We have to read the articles. <laughs> Mr. Meredith first sight season, what, 1516. He didn't make it long. But the time he was around, he had street cred. You no. Know, what, who? Just you? <laughs> yeah, that's like, all that matters. No, no. That's no. all that matters. Because, first of all, he threw it away. He could not afford to replace all that stuff, and nor would he want to be. So, yeah, anyway. Yeah. You know, street cred, that's what you do. Though. Keisha said, um, um, let's see. Let me go back. Uh, Keisha asked said, Miguel, if you told, oh, yeah, uh, Keisha said, um, uh, Miguel, if you told Lindy about that, like, you know, that she don't look good and would she look better with no makeup, how she, uh, how she would react? What do you say? Same way she act about that dang on insurance. I want some insurance. And he saw her, he saw her throw an axis. And I know that's not a word, axe. He, it, axe. Axis. Axe. I think it is Axis. Axis. I don't know. Oops, my house down. No, they ain't got nothing to do with it. Go ahead. But yeah, but yeah. So yeah, you know uh, Lindsay would clown on. It's funny that he brought up the insurance. He felt what we felt yeah. from the TV screen, and there ain't no telling what's the edited part they took out. But yeah, uh, yeah, he said, you, you I, think I think it was so funny. I think what's so funny about the insurance, little babe, is like, if I can hit by a bus, I said, why she didn't say that? I'm hit by a car. I said, why 
why does she go that route with she it? Went yeah. Dumb, didn't it? Yeah, why why not say, well, if I get sick or something? She this joker said, Well, if I get hit by a car, what are you gonna be walking across the street and a car is gonna hit you? Yep, that's what she's gonna said. be looking both ways. And she started cussing. Ooh, child, she wants that insurance. She got it though. <laughs> Blue Cross, Blue Shield, United Healthcare, Honey, State it Fall. Been, it could have been Cigna. It could have yeah. been Medicaid. Yeah, she got whatever. all of it. VA insurance. She ain't no better. <laughs> <laughs> so they showed clips of Ben and Morgan um, saying that they want a divorce. Kristen said that she likes both of them. She said she likes both of them individually. They just not match well um, together. Miguel said that both were going through um, their own challenges. You know, you know, like when couples go through things, one person go through it, then you encourage the other one and vice versa. But it seems like both of them was going through challenges at that time, and it just didn't work. Then uh, Keisha asked, uh, what's her I guess? Uh, Sarah. Sarah. And she asked Sarah, do you think uh, Morgan was too unforgiving? To Ben and she said, "Yeah, and I agree. Mm -hmm. She was too un too un unforgiving to Ben. You know, Ben just like you said, somebody thought your joke was funny about uh, Martin and the kung fu guy. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. I, I said, Ugh. I, they got it. Yeah, they, y'all, y'all whack. Y'all whack. Y'all, y'all lame. That joke wasn't it. funny. We got it. But anyway, yeah. So yeah, I used, yeah, she was too unforgiving towards Ben. Yeah." Uh, Sarah also said it got to be something else that was going on behind That's the scenes because she was so angry. But I think you brought up there's probably some past aggression that came up when when, when Ben did that by going by you know behind her back talking to her, Justin and maybe it triggered something from her past and she's let out let it all out on Ben. And and I <laughs> think too uh, some people may disagree, but I think that it's some unresolved issues with her. Uh, that's what I'm trying to get at. I don't yeah. mean that because he wasn't there. Uh, something like, had to this happen. is something personal right. that her and her father it, it's <laughs> something. It's something. It's something. She's so, just like she's not putting out what it yeah, is. It's something that you know to me that's going on with her I father. Wonder, um, I agree with you with that. You know thing. because right. let's be honest. Like what for me? I know my dad was not you know um, there. You know he didn't walk me down the aisle and then like that, but. If I was on a show, I don't think that I would have said, like, me and my dad, I, I just don't talk to my dad. Like, I don't know. The way she kept iterating about her dad, we heard it more than one time. Yeah, it's something it's something she hates about her father, in my yeah. opinion. You know what I'm saying? Especially on your special date, you don't you don't invite your dad to walk you down the aisle. And I get it. If y'all don't get along, y'all just don't get along, yeah, whatever. Yeah, it's but I just felt it that. was just... Something, something else. So yeah. I'm not sure what her dad did to her, but yeah. Yeah, something deeper going on. Hopefully we can go to the reunion. Maybe she could talk about it, but child, I don't want to see her no more, honey. You can throw Ben in there, but I don't want to see her no more. So um, the last part is where Kristen, they show Crips. They show clips of Kristen basically getting her whole life when she said, I'm done. I am done with this because I'm not going to deal with this right here. And when they came back, Everybody gave it a slow clap. See, this should have me. Miguel. It should have me on the stage. I, said, I would give you the slow clap, but I don't know. Are you just saying this to get claps? Hmm. I had to wait to see before I give you my clap because I want to know you gonna really are you really done or are you gonna go back to niche? But I'm not gonna be clapping for you. Then turn around, you back with the man. Well, the clap for was. In I get moment. it. I get it. But you said what? You done. She did say she done. Like a uh okay. A steak. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so Chris is saying that she, cut my joke off. Chris is saying <laughs> you're taking too long. Like, um, I'm trying to get it out, man. You no, know, you were trying to think of something funny. No, and I was it, it bombed. Just like that Martin joke you told last night. No, somebody got it. Hey, yeah. all it takes is one person, honey. All it takes is one. I I see you, girl. I see you. We see each other. That's all. It's a, a joke for two. <laughs> um, and so um, she said that she was so proud of herself in that moment. Um, she said that she was not taking it anymore. Miguel said that he was proud of her. Like, you know, good job. Um, but Kristen said that, you know, uh, said that the marriage, that she said that she would go forward and continue the marriage and everything if 
Um, Mitch first apologizes for that. And if he start doing things that make her feel wanted and love and all that stuff or whatever, she was like, you know, we can make it make it work. But yeah, that part he gonna have to, you know, cut all that stuff out. So yeah, yeah, that was pretty much it. Yeah, it wasn't much, you know. Um, and never do be about. much on the after parts now, but. Yeah, every, every once in a while you get a little. Too. Yeah, every once in a while you get a good nugget. Well, you get Alexis and Justin on there, you get good nuggets on it because they always snap, snapping. They always tattling on each other. <laughs> they tie so much, you you create a whole yeah, new I world. <laughs> now what? You know, there's a mixture of snitching and tattling. Yeah, snacking, snacking. So they always, uh, you know, snapping on each other and everything. So, um, but yeah. All right, you guys, on that note, that's all for the after party. Uh, make sure that you watch and uh, make sure that you catch us on the next video. And that's all we get. What about you, baby? That's it. Make sure that, you know, somebody asks us where you get the tumblers from. I don't have it on this particular video. But you can always just go to the website up under this video. If you're watching us on YouTube, you should see the t-shirts and all that stuff. Click on that. It should take you to our website and you should look under new arrivals and you should see the tumblers and the tees. Not that one yet, but this one. All right, you guys. See you guys on the next video. Don't forget to go with God and let God go with you. I always put God first. Deuces. Hey!